off of Moot and Charlie Lee, Cole's family. See, my vision's like Gandhi. We need to stand together, fight for freedom. Cause wives are bleeding, kids, they need them. Shit is up. What's up, brother? How you doing? What's up, man? How's everything, man? Good, man. Thanks for making it happen, man. We first came to America in 1985, and uh, like with everybody's story that came from Cambodia during that time was coming from the Khmer Rouge, running away from Khmer Rouge, uh, into the refugee camps and everything. Sofa was born, wasn't he born, he born in, in Cambodia? Yeah, Sofa was born in Cambodia. He Sorry. was born in the middle of <laughs> basically while we were running, while our family was running from the concentration camps. From hearing stories of how he was like basically raised during that time was probably the roughest time because food was really sacred. Like it was just, you know, you're in a refugee camp, you're hungry, you're thirsty, and my parents sacrificed their own hunger, their own thirst just so he can be okay, you know. Coming to America not speaking English and going to school, you know, we didn't understand nothing and we was getting picked on every day, every, I mean, every day. It was just hard, it was hard. Yeah. Our brother Sopa'u was deported. He spent six years upstate prison and from there he went straight to immigration um, prison as well, sat there for about seven months and then got deported. Well, he was basically in his car, just came back from a party, got pulled over by the police, and basically they found a gun in his car, which one of his friends left from like a previous night. He did not know anything about it and, you know, just got caught for it. And just because it, it was in his car, it was his. He took a trial, he lost, and then he paid for it. They gave him the maximum sentence for the gun, which is five to ten years. And he served that time. But as far as being deported, no, that was a whole different story. We don't we don't really talk about it, we just keep going. Our our our, our goal was just to keep going. We never really talked about this type of stuff because it's like the more that we do sensitive talk about it, it's very yeah. sensitive to us. We where we we all in the we, we all just sit in the corner and just cry and, and do it to ourselves. The parents worked hard, you know, they, they, they ran from the killing field to America to escape Cambodia, you know, and, and only to see one of their son return back. And it's it's never a good thing when you're you're ordered to be, you know, divided from your family. You know, I mean it's not it's not right at all. More than Charlie, we um, we all grew up together in you know the same neighborhood in North Philly, all in the Logan area. Um, Chris was up in Chris lived up in Southwest West Philly. Om so Om so Om. So what, sir, I want you to tell me your name and um, who's your father? Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Saran. Who your father? What? When was the last time you saw your dad? Hello? Um, where is your dad right now? Do you know? You know, daddy? No, Cambodia. You know you go visit daddy, yo. Oh, yeah. In Cambodia. Say it. In Cambodia? <laughs> Have you ever visited your dad in Cambodia? Yeah. You go when you're young, you're three years old. <laughs> Do you 
do you remember visiting your dad in Cambodia when you were three years old? <laughs> Not really, <even. laughs> So who do you live with? My mom. Do you have any siblings? No. Do you miss your dad? ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่ไล่